Hey everyone, welcome to Math Simplified. I am Matt Walter and I'm gonna show you how to export your Lightroom library to an external hard drive. It's actually super easy. So if you wanna change computers or if you want to just free up some of the, the SSD storage on your actual laptop and you just wanna store it on an external hard drive once you're done with the photos, this is what I do. So generally every sort of year, I will export everything that I've shot in that year and put it on a hard drive. But in this case, I just wanna export just the last shoot or the last couple of shoots to an external hard drive that I can move about with. And say, if I'm like on a tour, I might just wanna carry just a little lacy drive like this, super small, uh, nice and easy, it's quite fast, it's not an SSD, but it, um, it does the job. And basically I carry all my working files on this bad boy. What we're gonna do is export these chats photos onto this bad boy, like we called him. Do we call him a little boy or a bad boy? Either way, let's get him on air, it's super easy. So once you're in your library pane, all you have to do is go to the top and we wanna export the catalog. Now you can just make sure that your folder here is selected. If you have multiple folders, make sure you select the multiple folders, but in this case, there's just one. So I'll just have that selected. File, export as catalog. Now it defaults to the Lightroom directory, but what we wanna do is throw it on my external drive. You can put it in whichever folder that you want. I've got a, like a to transfer one, uh, but let's just call it to transfer three. You can give it whatever name you want. So once you've done that, uh, you can tag it if you need to, if you're on a Mac, but that's optional. Down the bottom, it tells us, it says we're exporting a catalog with 996 photos and 11 virtual copies. That means it's gonna take the original photos the raw files or whatever you shot as. And then it's also going to take the reference files that you that you made from those. So in this case, 11 virtual copies I made where I might've had a different variation. I might've gone color on one and black and white on another. We can choose whether you wanna export selected photos only. If you're backing it up in this use case, you wouldn't wanna do that. You wanna take everything. We wanna export the negative files we want to build and include the smart previews. Otherwise, when you go to re-import this in the future, you're going to have to rebuild them all over again, which sometimes can be annoying. And we want to include available previews, same as, as above. We want to just retain as much as we've already done. There's no point throwing out all the work we've already done. So once we've done that, we just go export catalog. Now in the top right, you'll see that there's a loading bar happening here. If we just click on this, you can see what it's doing. So it's copying those raw files to my little hard drive here. I can feel it. You know those old uh, hard drives that aren't SSDs and you can feel that little fan in it. You can just feel him thinking. He's thinking, he's putting it all on here. So basically we just wait. One hour later. You get the idea. I'm gonna switch this off. We'll come back to it once it's done. But basically you just leave it, you just leave it run. We're back, just like I told you that we would be. Now it's just finishing off at the top. It's just building the smart previews and adding them to the hard drive. It's copying the new catalog. It throws up a warning. If there's anything that it can't find for whatever reason, like if you've deleted it, but the catalog still references it, it'll tell you. I don't really worry about it. Like unless, unless you're worried that there's this photo that you just must have, I don't care for that. So that's, that's like the export process. So now it's exported. So what I would do is just check it's on there. So we've got to transfer the chats. So in this folder, in this folder are four things. You've got the actual photos themselves. So all your original photos are in here, all the raws. Then you've got 
backup information like the, the smart previews and what edits you did and things like that. And then you've got the individual catalog. So now to demonstrate, you can delete all of these from your actual hard drive, not the uh, don't open up the one that you had that you just exported onto here. You can delete them from the library that you had. So you can remove from Lightroom or delete from disk. If you remove from Lightroom, it's just going to remove them from the catalog. It's not going to actually remove the raws from your computer. So what I always do is go delete from disk. And I'll throw them all in the trash. I mean, if this was your only, if this was like your only folder, in this catalog, you just delete the entire catalog, but I'm just trying to show you what different options you have. Cool, so there's no folder, no photos in there anymore. I'll empty the recycling bin. Get rid of it and we'll get all that storage back. Now, on the external drive, if for whatever reason you wanted to just make a change or you just wanted to export one photo, to a different resolution, you can do that just by opening the catalog that you exported. So you don't need to copy it back to your actual SSD on your computer. You can just open it straight from your external hard drive where you backed it up to. And all those photos that you had in there will now be here including all the edits that you made to it. So everything that was in there. So basically you've just moved it off your hard drive onto an external hard drive. So now if I went anywhere and I was sort of finished with show number one, I'd back it up onto here. And then show number two, I would export those photos to my SSD to do the edits because it's a little bit faster, but my SSD is not big enough. So that's when after that show, I would export it to my external hard drive along with the previous show and so on and so on. So really my SSD is only housing the most recent show just to maximize space. But that's how you export a Lightroom catalog. Super, super easy.